Hello Cancer and welcome. I'm Adriana and today I have an intuitive reading for you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. I will also be creating an extended later. So if the reading resonates with you, I invite you to check out the extended. It'll be in the description below. There'll be a link. So I'll continue to pull more information and so we can get bigger and deeper perspective on what comes up in the course of this reading. Okay, so I want to start us off with something from the Divine Animal Oracle. Okay, we have a little two here. Gorilla, peace, and the deer, power. Okay, right away. Wow, this is interesting with these kind of globy, glowing figures in the background. We are really looking, Cancer, at standing up peacefully in your power. It feels that your power is being encroached upon, that something is kind of pushing into it. And rather than pushing back aggressively, you just need to be, inhabit the space fully, be yourself to the, the nth most degree of that space. So I think I read a book a long time ago that talked about our aura as being like these globes that surround our body. So this is about filling up that aura all the way and just peacefully standing in it. It's almost like, I've got the movie, it's, a, it's an old movie, The Incredibles, where I, I think it was, I can't remember if it was the mom or the kid, I think it's one of the kids can put up this force shield that no one else can kind of get into. And that's what I see happening. When you stand in your power, this force shield is around you and nothing can come into it. But the important thing to remember is that both of these animals, the gorilla and the deer, are underscoring the idea of peace, that you can do this peacefully, Cancer. You don't have to do this aggressively, defensively, or um, angrily. It's just in this peaceful being who and where you are. Okay, please show me where Cancer is right now. Two, three, ten of wands, eight of swords, and two of cups. Cancer, you need to take a deeper look at this relationship. Um, the, uh, <laughs> where, where to start? Okay, let's, let's look at the, the uh, visual here. We've got ten of wands, eight of swords, and two of cups. In being in this union, you're having to take on and push down a lot of yourself. This Ten of Wands is, is saying you're trying to hold up something that you really can't. And the Eight of Swords is saying to me that you're not speaking your truth nearly enough. You're not standing up for yourself in your own power. It's as if you're leaving a little part of yourself behind in order to be in this union. And, you know, I can relate to this. I have been there a lot of times. Um... <laughs> Because of being different or being um, unsure if all of myself will be accepted, I have found myself in the past just kind of shutting down that part of myself, hiding it, and not showing it to the person I'm in a relationship with. And for me, that really hasn't worked. The relationship never ends up working out because I'm not showing my true authentic self. And if you don't show your true authentic self, the other person can't love it. So, but I'm feeling like for you, Cancer, that this, it feels like the relationship is almost forcing you to do this. It doesn't feel like a conscious choice that you're making, although it is a subconscious choice, it is still a choice. It just feels like this relationship doesn't really give you the space to truly be yourself. And you're at this point where you're like, I'm not sure if I can hold this up anymore. I don't think I can hold my end up anymore. So we're coming to a breaking point. Okay, give me more, please. What is cancer? Why is cancer in this situation? Okay. Mother of feathers, six of feathers, which are wands, judgment, and the high priestess. Okay, a lot of twos. In fact, you've got twos all over your reading. We've got the two here, we've got two. 
Okay, this is about retaining your power without losing yourself in the relationship with someone else. I'm just looking at these other cards here because this is a two as well. It's card number 11. We've got partnerships and duality all over this reading. And, you know, going back to this, it looks like we're in a pattern. So 10 plus eight is nine, which tells me we're at the end of something. And we're trying to culminate this, this um, lesson that you're learning in partnership. So what it feels like is that you attracted this situation and this partnership willfully, okay? Thinking that it was going to be different than the past, thinking that you were going to be able to rise above it, that you were pulled a different way. And instead, you're in this space where you're not quite sure where to go next with it. We've got the high priestess over here, not quite sure where to go next. You find that you haven't really left those patterns of the past, although you thought you were. You thought this person was different or you thought this relationship was going to be different. And yet you, you don't find yourself overcoming it. Let me clarify the high priestess here. And I get that you're really kind of um, sad and I want to say a little bit disheartened maybe, but also just kind of disappointed that this didn't go exactly the way that you thought it was going to go. The card fell out. Excuse me a second. Okay, nine of wands wants to come out. Okay, please tell me more about the high priestess. withdrawal. So again, pulling back justice. All right. So what is being learned right now, what you are, what your soul is endeavoring to teach you right now, cancer is about asking for equality in relationships and not pulling back from it. Okay. There is a tendency to want to, so here's our justice. Justice is perfect balance. Things being okay. Things being even between the two of you. But there's a withdrawal, like, I don't really want to go there. And there's also a fear of conflict here, the Nine of Wands. There's a fear of what will happen if I stand my ground? What will I happen if I actually express myself and say what I feel? What is going to happen here? But the biggest energy that I feel, Cancer, is that there's a hiding there's a hiding of yourself and there's a hiding of your power. You know, perhaps. This is a new relationship and you're not really sure if you want to show a lot of your intuitive gifts to this person and so you're kind of holding it back down or you feel like they're going to run away unless you take more responsibility than than what is fair okay so this means just taking on everything taking on too much whether it's paying for everything doing all the chores um, taking the initiative to call you're doing too much yourself and for some of you, this is actually talking about a friendship, not about a romantic attachment, that you're giving too much, that you're not allowing the other person to come forward and give because you're afraid if you stop giving, they are going to walk away and they're going to be disinterested. And so there's a fear of losing. There's a fear like if I step back to balance, then I'm going to lose this relationship and it's going to go away. But all of these cards are saying your boundaries are completely being walked over all the time um, in this. And not because the other person necessarily wants to, but because you haven't said where the boundaries are. It's kind of like if you draw an invisible line around something and you don't tell anyone about it, how are they supposed to know it's there, right? So, Cancer, it's really funny the way this works. If we are not going to be our authentic selves in something because we're afraid of losing it, we will lose it, okay? There's a couple reasons why that's the way it is. Partially because of the law of attraction. If you do something out of lack, you will attract more lack. So if you're like, okay, I have to do this because I'm going to lose, then you're, you're going to attract losing. You're going to attract something going away. But the other thing is that... When you walk away from yourself by, sh by failing to show the other person who you are, that's walking away from yourself. 
And so you've already betrayed your relationship with yourself. And whoever is in that relationship with you is not even in the relationship with the whole you. It's in relationship with the betrayed self. So you actually end up betraying both people. All right. So I'm going to pull more cards on this in the extended for things that you can do to overcome this pattern and maybe some more insights that will help you understand why this pattern is so strong with you. So if this resonated and you'd like to follow me over, link is in the description below and I'll see you over there.